Hey everybody, welcome to module 3 here and in this module we're going to go ahead and create a portrait um, we're going to be creating a portrait for an animal um, this should be a lot of fun okay so first things that we need to go ahead and do is decide the animal that we want to go ahead and create a portrait for um, and it's always better to at least have some sort of concept art to look at um, and you can either find out concept art through Google or uh, any other art site that's out there. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here uh, is pull our internet over. And we're going to take a look here um, at uh, an Indian rhino or rhino in general. Because we're going to be creating a rhino portrait. So sometimes it's, it's basically easier to use... Um, not necessarily a an actual physical concept um, sometimes you can just grab some animal concept art or animal art and, and basically just shape from there um, this should be a lot of fun so what we want to go ahead and do here is we want to grab at least some animal art um, in terms of reference art so we know exactly uh, what we're looking at and, and how we're going to go ahead and create it because we definitely have to come up with an idea so what we'll do is we'll just uh, save some of these images here. I'm just going to save them in a folder. And then I'll put this folder inside of our ZBrush folder so we can actually uh, continually look at it. Um, it's definitely going to help whenever it comes into uh, playing with the shape as well. <clears throat> okay, so let's come in here and let's just grab, take a look at some of our art, or some of the art here. Because we want to make sure that we... Um, not necessarily do this right we just want to basically have a, a good idea of uh, what we, what we'll be creating from okay so let's go ahead and grab this one as well and right now I'm just taking a look at just some general shape okay so let this reload we'll go ahead and just simply grab this uh, you don't have to you know grab you know terabytes and terabytes of information just a few basic simple images will do um, we just want to make sure that we're going to be able to really be um, make it easier on ourselves to go ahead and get a general shape from it um, and then most of this will be just our own idea and our own feeling here okay so I'm just taking a look here at what I want to grab uh, you can always take a look at something like this where somebody has actually gone ahead and created a Indian Rhino inside of ZBrush um, even this as well uh, or a Rhino character like this which is actually inside of ZBrush that somebody already created so we're just taking a look here this will probably be a good way to go ahead and grab and create from so I'm just looking here at uh, just some basic art because a lot of this is really going to come into play especially when we're creating our uh, basic shape because their heads and, and their bodies are very very specific in terms of um, the shape so we want to make sure that we're able to maintain that from the beginning so I'm just taking a look here at what we can grab okay so let's maybe go ahead and grab this as well this will probably work here too And just remember you have to work inside your own um, skill level as well uh, don't try to create something that you know um, is probably a little too complex for you we'll go ahead and save that even though the name actually didn't change there that's all right you can probably even grab this just taking a look for a few basic 
more. Um, this looks like it has a very, very good general shape and for the side here. And you can always, you know, edit these before you actually take them into ZBrush uh, simply by putting them into Photoshop um, and doing, you know, what whatever you have to, whether it's, you know, flipping the image uh, horizontally, changing the color saturation, whatever. Uh, and the good thing about this as well is also, you know, you're really going to be able to sample painting information from it. And so um, it's really going to make your job much easier to go ahead and actually grab a bunch of concept art. Um, but like I said, you don't have to grab terabytes of information, you know, just maybe a, a dozen or two is probably substantial to be able to go ahead and um, get the entire project done. So let's go ahead here and see if we can grab a couple more here. And that's pretty gruesome. Uh, let's see here. It actually doesn't show the, the full head, um, but that's okay. go ahead and save this as well and we can probably grab this one for our last one because you can still see here where um, we'll get the general shape of the head okay, so we can go ahead and throw that one in here as well uh, I think we're probably okay I think we have more than enough images to, to go ahead and create from, okay? So in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and come back, and we will begin the process of sculpting inside of ZBrush. So come on back, everybody.